Well, shoo, shmoo, 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 the shmoo schmidt. What's up, Shooey? How are you? Rasta body, but Rasta man. It's been a while, man. We don't want that. Waiting for Rasta bodybuilder. He's the Rasta man. P. Kenny, what's up? Yo, what's up, Rasta? How you doing? Nothing, nothing much. How about yourself? Good. How you doing, buddy? All good. How about yourself? Good, man. How you been? Again, just getting into some trouble up in here. You're getting into trouble? Getting into different fights at different gyms. They banned me from half of the gym out here. Aren't you a New Yorker like me? Uh-uh, Calif California. Oh, you're out there. I thought you were in New York. Well, see, that's why. Because uh, they're fucking like pussies in California. New York, they don't give a fuck. You have fun in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan, man. You're a big fan. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. You, you, you've been a good supporter of the product, and I am very, very happy about that. And I'm a big fan of yours as well. <laughs> oh, thank you. So what else is going on? Nothing. Just staying busy and just taking care of myself. How's the training coming? It's going good. Going good? So what uh -huh. did you get into fights about? That's this Marine guy was just following me and just just hating on me and just jealous. Uh, I, I, I said, I'm not there, so I don't know what really happened. You know what I mean? He's like 250 pounds, and I told him that I didn't like him, so he got butt hurt and said, "Listen here, listen here. Keep your name out of your mouth." I said, "Dude, I don't like you." Leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, so you're trying to beat me up like on my birthday. Oh, happy belated birthday. You don't have to get along mm -hmm. to me in the same gym. I mean, we're, we all don't, you know, have to fucking be buddies. The gym's big enough where you don't have to deal with each other, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, but... So now let's go to Instagram and 24 Hour Fitness. Okay. I guess, you know... You said he was a Marine, so, you know, I, I, I'll, give a, I'll give a man credit or a woman credit for serving our country, but you still can't. You got to act cool. But not me. You, that doesn't excuse asshole behavior, <laughs> though, either, bro. You know? Uh-huh. I'll stick it on whoop his ass when I see him. Yeah. Well, well listen, you do what you uh -huh. got to do, man. Sometimes that needs uh -huh. to be done. Sometimes we must fucking rumble. <laughs> uh-huh. Sure is. So, all right, bro. I'm glad you're back. I missed you. All right, thank you. I miss seeing you. Can yeah, you I miss you too. Tag me, bro. Uh, I fucking, you know, I always like reposting and commenting on your shit, bro. You're fucking one of the family, man. Oh, uh, thank you. You too. All right, man. That's Rasta Bodybuilder. Uh, Getting into trouble out west over there. Getting into trouble. I don't want to get into trouble, so let me introduce the program. Thank you so much for joining us today on LegalSteroids.com. Presents Gearing Up with Gearing Up. This is the, I like this one. And a draw. Critton Docky. What's up, Critton? I saw Miss Wildfire joining the fucking foray. Welcome, Miss MSM. Fade in two, six. Barson's Frankie. What's up, guys? How are you? Guys and ladies, welcome. Of course, it's a Wednesday program. And I believe, uh, Crystal, are you this evening? 6 p.m. at crystal.wildfire.anthony. I believe you're doing your show uh, today because yesterday was that big election day. Did Big Frank delete his account? Not that I'm aware of, Critton. Not that. Alec, yo, what's up? And Jim, 1974. What's going on, guys? Living the dream, ready to talk some shit. Let's talk it, bro. Yes, but 5 p.m., I think. Okay. All right. I will make sure I uh, log on at 5. I'm probably going to leave here after this, and then I will be en route to the home front. Big Frank is off Instagram, really. We were texting each other yesterday, me and Frank. Um, Paisan, Johnny, what's up? Como esta, Jess? Oh, Jessica Reyes Padilla. Hey, Jessica, I was going to DM you, but what the fuck? I'll just ask you online. Are you, do you have plans to be at the LA Fit Expo by any chance? I don't know if if, uh, if you're doing anything with uh, with uh, Rosetta and Alessandro at Balero. Uh, Balero. 
I tried to look him up and I can't on Facebook and can't find him. I'm fucking in Facebook timeout now, so I can't really fucking look for anything on Facebook. The nose knows. Jessica, if you're going to be in L.A., we got to hang out and do another interview because we are going to have a booth there. I wanted to talk to you about that. So let me know. Shoot me a DM. Tell him Critton misses him. He helped me in a lot. Were you the guy that was DMing me all of that? I did tell him that there was uh, uh, somebody. I, I'm not going to lie, bro. I was texting him, and I didn't look on the uh, thing. Yes, Facebook timeout, Rasta. wasn't even a political. It was for uh, steroids, steroid post. It is January was it, 27th, 26th, that, that weekend. The uh, last weekend in January. No, I wasn't. Oh, okay. There was somebody else that was sending me these really nice, cool messages, and they were like, you know, friend. they said they were friendly with Frank, and they haven't heard from him, and they wanted to make sure everything was cool. Teddy, the greatest of all time. What's up, Teddy? January 26th and 27th. Yes, thank you, Alec D. Fit. 26th and 27th. Dr. Star, in relation to Ringo, by any chance. Oh, yes. So, um, uh, uh, Jessica Reyes Padilla, if she's going to be in L.A., I definitely want to do some cool stuff with her. I'm planning on going to New York soon. Oh, very good. So, I guess if you do, you'll be hanging with Rosetta and Al, and then I will definitely try to... Uh, piggyback on that and and hook up with you one night and maybe we'll have a, a a bite to eat or a drink or something like that alessandro and rosetta are good peeps you're picking good company with them i'm hoping if you do go to la i definitely want to do something with you uh, at our booth but if you're working another booth i understand you you can't two-time bolero especially that my friends Juju B, what's up, Juju B? Who gonna cause? Who gonna cause? I know you're gonna come up with the line of the day today. Yeah, Jessica Reyes Padilla said. Joe, do you follow arm wrestling? Well, I started to a little bit because with the Big Frank show and Ray with Country Crush and stuff like that. So yes, uh, uh, I'm not gonna say I, I I jumped into it head first, but I. You know, I got interested in the whole Michael Todd versus, um, you know, Devin Lorette thing. Let's schedule it. Yes. You mean L.A., New York, and or both? <laughs> Nucky Thompson, knucklehead, what's up? Hey, bro, did you hear that Sinead O'Connor denounced all white people? Yes, she's a Muslim now, and she's white. Even if she changed her religion. How did she change her race? <laughs> Devon versus Dennis, who you got? You know, I don't know who Dennis is, so I'm going to go with Devin Larry because I know who he is. There's the, the new Stephanie Walgreens picture with a mustache on it. The jailer man and sailor Sam were searched for everyone for use banned on the run. I, I Both. Yes, absolutely, Jessica. Country Crush is sponsoring Greg's show. Yes, ma'am. Crystal, Crystal, Crystal. Denise, Travis Dustin in the house. What's up? Sinead O'Connor is a fucking piece of shit. If she, do you really think that anybody in a Muslim country is going to like a fucking, she was, first of all, she was a lesbian, so they would behead her just for that. Plus, she's ugly and has short hair. <laughs> no hate for Michael Todd, but he was literally squatting when he beat Devin. I did see the replays, but I don't know the rules that well, dude. So I don't, you know, I'm like... You know, I don't, I don't really know how, you know, it's not like, like a baseball game where I know that, you know, hey, that's strike three, you know. <laughs> She's a goofy bitch, Joe. Yeah, but I'd let her suck my pee-pee. <laughs> and I would fuck her mouth hard, hold her fucking by the ears, so i puncture her eardrums and hit that little guy, 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 guy thing in the back of her mouth. You, I have a lot of Muslim friends, Joe. They hate that. I guess you mean twat. She is going to be a woman without a, uh, I don't even know, country, whatever. She's like, what is she, from Ireland or something? Nick Miller got featured in MD Magazine. Did he? Where? I did see a, uh, I didn't see the new issue with Sean Roden, but I saw the one with, um, was it Big Rammy on the cover? So I guess is Nick in the newest one? 
She's a one hit wonder where only hit is a cover song. Wasn't that 15 hours and 75 days, whatever the fuck it was. When she ripped up a picture of the old Pope, like the new Pope's a little controversial, but the other guy was just some fucking old Polak who fucking barely moved. You ripped up a picture of him on Saturday Night Live. That's when, you know, I guess now on Saturday Night Live, that will be considered like fucking like, you know, mainstream with how left they went. So I am sure we can sing a tune on that cock. Wow. You ever sing into a microphone? <laughs> Oh, shit. So, yes, I was getting uh, getting some of our travel plans ready with Crystal and Kim Haynes' fit ass for the uh, muscle sport booth at the L.A. Fit Expo. So I'm very excited about that, of course. I'm looking forward to that. Do you think the Italian mob is still active in New York? I don't want to say anything about that and then get shot. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> There's a lot of fucking mobs. They're all active. They're not what they used to be, possibly, because there's so much competition nowadays. Mikey, the crazy, the hawk, to the two, put a point to the zero. Welcome to Trump's America. Mike, I'm, I told you, I sent you that DM. I'm very disappointed that they uh, lost the House, the GOP. Very disappointed. I know everybody's trying to put a fucking, you know, red rose on it. I, I can't, though. I'm, I'm bummed out. Instead of nothing compares to you, it's nothing compared to blowing cock. Was that when she was a lesbian and enjoyed um, the girl-on-girl -girl action? The scissor! Misfit Maniac Hamburg! What's up, buddy? Did they ban you from Facebook? Yes, I put an ad up for a company that has been advertising with me since 2008. And they sell anabolic steroids. They're in the Ukraine. It's legal for them. I don't say, hey, ship them to the U.S. I say, that if you go around the corner and buy them there. Joe Dalton, this Danish talk show, they seriously discuss if Santa could be a woman. Like, you know, why don't we call the fat bearded guy a woman now? They were 100% serious. I also heard that they're going to start calling God, not by he. You know, I, I, so if they can do it to God, I guess like Santa's fair game too. Fucking Facebook is, yeah, they're gay. She ripped up the post. She's a fucking twatch. And she, I, she sounds okay. I guess she can sing all right. I'm pissed we lost the house. America's disappointed with their stupidity. Yes, and I'm disappointed in your home state. I know it's not you, but fucking Michigan, fucking recreational weed. Come on. Fucking zombie nation. Come on, enough of that shit. Can't we just go back to fucking drinking a few beers and fucking each other? I mean, now, oh, it's recreational. Ooh. America's stupidity went to a new low the last two years. Only half of America. Only half. But my home state of New York obviously uh, didn't do well statewide, but did okay in certain districts. Peter King out on Long Island, Seaford, Congress won again. He's like a, a big hero to us in the uh, law enforcement world and former law enforcement world. Be back on 345. It was regards to a new kids movie, and the producers admitted there is a political agenda. Oh, that, see, that's disgusting, bro. bro. At, least, At least we kept, kept the Senate. Senate. Yeah, yeah, we picked up a few. Stevie, Stevie to the shoe, to the shoe, to the shoe wants, wants to come on live, and he's a fucking long-time family member, and he can. House tries impeachment. I, you know what? It's not going to happen. They're going to waste so much time. Yo, Shuey. Hey, how you doing, guys? What's going on? I just wanted to put a point in. We have our, you have very first two Native American people in the House of Senate. Really? Where are they from? I messaged her. Uh, what state? Is one's from, uh, I believe it's, um, one's from, oh God, I can't remember. Uh, Shannon, she's, she's from uh, North Dakota. Okay. Dakota. And uh, I can't remember the other one. All right. The very first two ever. And that's a really good thing for us. I'm surprised the first time ever. I thought it would have been it's done first time ever. 20 years ago or better. Wow. All right. Cool. No, no, no. No. Well, that's a, that's a positive. But you guys lost the... Uh, the House. Lost, uh, the House, yeah. Kept the really Senate. A difference, does it? Well, you know what it is? The House has powers. Senate's more powerful. They're the ones that do the judging. 
They're the ones that put the, the circuit yeah. court judges and the Supreme Court judges. But the House can block certain things, like Obamacare is never going to be fucking overturned now. It's going to be tough to get some immigration reform because the House has a lot of fucking leverage in that. Um, it, it's... Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Let's, let's, get, let's get a little bit funny here. Up until 1850... Uh, California and Texas was owned by Mexico. Yes. Am I not right? I believe okay, you're right. So yes. Why? Why? Why do you all have and ninety percent of the people that live in the United States are foreigners, anyways? I'm not having a day. I'm just trying to uh -huh. grasp and and that little tiny. I've been I've been to the Mexican border. I've been to Mexico. You know. You've been uh huh. Like, Bit of woohoo juice, time to time, you know. Um, yes. <laughs> it, it just, it just. <laughs> the word of the month, by the way, is hippotamus. Hippotamus. Um, that is a fucking yeah, yeah, mouthful. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I think Paul did that, but um, I wanted to make a point that you know it doesn't matter who's in government if they're always there's always going to be some asshole. Yeah. Basically, it doesn't matter who it is. All right, uh, you could have one of those trained monkeys that we used to have when we were kids with a tambourine. They still do a better job. You know? <laughs> yeah. Wind up toy. Yeah. <laughs> should we pass? Should we pass the bill? Yeah. yeah. It was. It was actually. A, it was actually a, a a doll of an Italian, a Southern Italian, not a monkey. Actually. Ah, <laughs> uh, was it? <laughs> Yes, you know, I, a little grease ball. Crystal, but, but, yeah, a little, a little grease ball. Okay. Um, but I agree with Crystal, yes. They, they lost to the Civil War, blah, blah, blah. But it was still owned by Mexico. And a lot of trade's done in Mexico. Yeah, Volkswagen's still done in Mexico. Um, you know, uh, it, you should let some of these people in. Because, let's face it, us as a people, like even in England, people don't want to have minimum wage jobs. They just don't. Right? So who's gonna mow your lawn? Yeah? Who's gonna who's gonna do the shitty jobs that lazy Americans The kids on the block. Sorry, really, Who did those yeah, jobs when I was a kid before all these illegal immigrants fucking came in? The kids on the block did. did it. Look Caleb Caleb Green. Our, our buddy Caleb, big C. Yeah. Perfect example of a guy who started out just mowing lawns as a kid on his block. I mow my own lawn yeah. also, Crystal. Crystal, can I mow your lawn if you mow mine? <laughs> But Caleb started by just going up and down the block with the lawnmower, and he's he built that into a landscaping business, and then you know that was his his break in yeah. as a kid, and now look, he runs a big fucking business with the buildings and all of that. So when people say that only immigrants will do those jobs, I contest that totally. I don't I don't buy that. Let's let him ask, ask him how many. Right, my little one's trying to sleep. Ask him how many people. Um, that he hires that are not American. I'm sure there are plenty. There's quite a lot. I know that, but if there weren't the South Americans, Mexicans, wherever they may be from, there would they would be people that would take those jobs. That's an excuse saying Americans are... And I will agree with you, lazy Americans is accurate. I will agree with you on that. But they would be doing that type of job because they would learn a trade. British are really lazy. British don't want a minimum wage job. I don't pay minimum wage. Minimum wage jobs are for kids to work after school, not for an adult to feed a family of four. Well, yeah, but it does happen, though. You know, um, it's well, a discussion that we had before about paying a living wage. If you pay somebody a living wage, they will put more money, that money, back into the economy. I honestly agree with that. Well, yes, but also if you keep raising the minimum wage, the store has to raise its prices to pay those workers or cut them out. So they're going to lay off guys or they're going to go automated like McDonald's type of things. But the mom and pop store is going to have to lay the guy off and finish the job himself that night, clean up himself because he can't afford to pay. True. Like here, um, I'm sure a lot of people... Um English are lazy and quick to complain to the foreigners. Exactly, Wally. Right, I'll put this to you over here, okay? I've mean, lived here a long time. Right? People moan that the Polish and, and Brexit, like, they're, they're moaning, oh, they want out of Brexit because uh -huh. of the immigration problem here. All right? Um, but people won't do the minimum wage jobs here. So you get all the Romanians, you get all the Polish, you get all the Albanians, you get, 
you know, people that are in the EU shuffling over here to do it because the fucking English are too goddamn lazy to do it anyways. But when you, Stevie, you, me and you are the same age. When you were a kid, high school kid, you had after-school jobs or whatever like that, right? You worked in a supermarket or McDonald's or whatever type of shit. The only adults that worked there were the guys that were the managers or the fucking losers. Everybody else was a fucking 16-year-old kid. So if somebody is working that type of job as an adult, uh, you, you didn't plan your life ahead properly. You fucked up. Daniel, I'm not sliding off the English head, you know, but it's up here. I'm not sliding off the English talk. It's in general. Go to Canada. Canadians are goddamn lazy. You know, they don't want to do the minimum wage jobs. So most of the construction and all that is, is all run by Polish. And they work their fucking asses off. And they do jobs that, that uh, it's a generalization, all right? Um, you know, all the British people moan about all the, you know, people forget they're, oh, I ain't getting in trouble, Alan. Um, there's 70 million uh, there's 70 million people living in England. 70 million people. And you can fit England, um, and you can fit England into Canada, for, per se, 40 times. Yeah, 40 yeah. 40 times. 40 times. There's too many people living on this rock. That's why I want to off -ski. Yeah? Because the social system here, as well, cannot fund it. Yeah, like we get free medication, we get free um, uh, medical, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, if I want gear, I just go to the doctor and you go, woo -hoo, you know, I don't have to go to Titan Medical. Very good, by the way. Titan Medical, Titan Medical, very good. I'll just point that out. It is good stuff, so, yes. <laughs> uh, Daniel, right, I'll go. So I'm going to pay for my flights and shit because um, the problem I've got is getting over is that. Trump now, the, the American embassy here, you can't call it anymore. Um, we get a lot more than most countries, Paul. I absolutely agree with you. You know, people, people still take a piss. Um, oh, we do. Alan, we, we pay for it in our taxes. Like, like, of course. We pay taxes. In, in, in Nevada, it's 90%. Yeah? Here, we pay 20% on everything. Because you're paying for that socialized medicine, you're paying for it in every other way. It has to come yeah. from somewhere, yeah. Daniel, can I... Hang on a second, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Stevie freezes on me. He froze. He sounds like he's in the bathroom. He's got a good echo going. Are you in the bathroom? You got a nice echo going there. You can you can belt out a few fucking uh, bars of, uh, you know, you, you, should wish, you should be dancing by the Bee Gees. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm starting to feel better. I'm not going to bring up all that other about, about, uh, about the, the other stuff, but I've got um, um, there's nothing wrong with socialized medicine, Medicare in, in Canada, Johnny. Nothing wrong with it. Um, I know my mother and all that still live on the reservation. You want to know what poor is? Growing up on a reservation, yeah, and your toaster is a coat hanger. Yeah. Wow. You know, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah, roughing it, bro. Work, they, they, yeah, he's, he's thinking more welfare and shit like that. But um, oh, Wally, uh, prove my point. Quick, explain foreigners. I don't like the British answer, but I'm not blaming foreigners. Um, it's just I progressively, but like these youngsters like Daniel Metcalf and all that. I I moved here 21 years ago now. Okay, and when I moved here. I was the only, well, I'm the only native people that lives in England, but what I'm saying is, it was it was proper England for English people. Yeah. I, I was like a tourist here, you know, when I moved to Vienna and all that other stuff. Now, it's just, it's overcrowded. That's the problem we have here. Um, so. Yeah, no, we got a, we got a crowding problem, too, in, in the U.S., so I, I could definitely relate to that. It's, it's a, a lot, you know? I put water in my cereal. We had no milk, John, he says. Was it bathroom, kitchen, or toilet? <laughs> toilet water. And I saw Crystal put down she had an outhouse when she was a kid. I, I, she told me that a while ago. I remember that. That must have been kind of shitty as a kid to have to go outside and sit in a little wooden shed the size of a closet to take a peep or a poop. Yeah. 
some, some of the back rooms here, they still have, um, you remember the old, sh- well, they're called old shelters. Some people would know what it means. They're old metal shelters, bomb shelters. Uh-huh. Um, uh, you know, um, and some of them are still at houses. Now they turn them into out houses. So some people wow. still have shit outside. That's pretty yeah, wild. It's like old school Victorian stuff. I love it. Yeah, yeah. The fucking... Mr. Metcalf. Don't, Mr. Metcalf, you and I know each other firstly. Don't make a fucking opinion about something if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Right? Behave. Behave. Ooh. <laughs> Strippers. Strippers on here. I tell you, it's terrible. Um, so plug, plug the new product, the new site, the, the, the new the native I nutrition. Pl- I am not plugging anything. Why not? So, because until everybody gets their money back, this is not clickbait. No, um, but I want them for your new thing, your personal, the, the native I thing. I, I'm not going to plug it until, I'm not going to plug it until um, everybody gets their money back. That was, that, that's the whole point behind this. You well, know? why don't you I tease it? Why don't you tease, it's your company, it has nothing to do with everything uh, else, uh, right? God. Yeah, well, somebody, um, somebody else runs my page, fine, Adam. He's right there, by the way. He's right there. Adam, Adam lifts big. Right. Plug it, bro. He yeah. <laughs> Your family member. Plug, please. Oh, by the way, we will have a booth next to you at the LA Fitzbo. Now, is that for, for, for Native? Yeah. Okay. Because I didn't think it was going to be for okay. Chaos. I mean, I <laughs> would, you guys, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plug it! Um, I, I, wanted to do, I wanted to do this brand of t shirts when um, Rich passed away, and I'm not fucking, I hate saying that. I'm Mr. Thunder. But um, it's it's pertainable to me that um, he wants a selfie. Fuck off, Wally. I love Wally Wallace, by the way. He's awesome. He's funny as fuck. Um, so I decided to do something that was pertainable to me and donate some of the proceeds to cultural and native affairs. And it's called Native Strength and Iron. Yeah. And I actually kind of pitched the idea from Stephen Paul Judd, um, who is uh, uh, on Crystal. Don't get me started on that. My mother, two months ago, sends me a message saying her and all of my, my aunties and uncles and cousins had to prove their native peoples, even though they're living on the reservation by getting a blood, getting a fucking DNA test. Really? Wow. The only, yeah, we're the, we're the only race on the planet, so we keep our natives, so my mommy and mom and all that. It doesn't matter to me. I got the card, but... It, now, how many years had they been residing there before they had to do that? Uh, well, my... Well, my, mom, my mom moved to Prince Edward Island to the reservation there, in that one, but... Um, my my aunties and all that have lived there all their lives. So and just now true. they're saying prove it? That's a little fucking weird, yeah, don't you think? No, 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 it, 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 it's bullshit. It's uh, the new Canadian government. They're just trying to like, take away benefits away from, you know, yeah. away from people. But um, I've got to tell you guys still to this day, so I'm running major strength and iron, all right? Irrespective of that, all right, I want to donate some... Um, uh, some of the proceeds, cultural and native affairs, to help people uh, on reservations and stuff like that, like that uh, um, gym equipment, just general school supplies, okay, and shit like that. I'm being straight. I'm being straight about it. Right? I'm not gonna pop it. It might be a dollar. It might be a couple of bucks. I hear you. Yeah. yeah. But it's good. You know, I I'm not the richest man on the planet. I have two kids and I have two jobs, motherfuckers. Two, <laughs> all right, two jobs and I do all this stuff all day. So, um, yeah, I gotta tell you though, and you guys, Rob and I blocked each other and all that other shit, but the products, I swear to God, even the guys that are with me, Chaos Trisha products are the fucking nuts. They're awesome. Okay. Uh, I won't take that away from them. All right, I'll never ever take that away from them. I, I tried the pre workout. You guys, Rob sent me the pre workout. I loved it. I thought it was great. Get this back in the way. Uh, <laughs> you want to send me some kick picks, bro? Yeah. Send me some dick pics. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys get on, and I'll stay on for a little bit longer. All right. Uh, cool. And, uh, thank, yeah, thank you all. So, yeah, I'm one of the 
Took all these jobs. It took the jobs, yeah. <laughs> but that, I'm glad to hear that you'll be uh, uh, in the in the booth area with uh, Ray, Country Crush, and myself. So we will have much fun in uh, Los Angeles. Can you get you need to see Adam Asset about the show that we do over here for Country Crush UK. All right, Adam, who? Adam Asset, Country Crush UK. Oh, the country crush. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll talk to Ray and then they'll they'll we'll we'll yeah, talk about he it. He needs to pull his finger up because uh, myself, Wally, all of us have been plugging country crush over here in the UK. Okay. Um, he's only he's only thirty five minutes away. From oh, good, me. good, uh, excellent. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll get you guys hooked up. With, yeah, 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 I don't want very much money, just a free bar. Like, I, I used to get up. Uh, yeah, no, I'll <laughs> I'll talk to Ray and then between all of us, we'll uh we'll get something done, bro. Don't you worry. Yeah. Uh, they give you something to do. So, um, ever since the Super League, my training and all that's been shit after because I'm, I'm just, you, you get that high, 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 high. Well, you, know, you so. also got the leg issue that you got to recover from. Uh, you, you, that that has a little yeah. something to do with it. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, I will talk, yeah, I'll talk to Raymond then we'll yeah. get all of that taken care of, my friend. Well, guys, thank you very much. Uh, Shui. Oh, he's just, yeah. Gorilla Juice is just goofing around. He's just having fun. You, you wouldn't say, what's he look like? A little, That's a picture of a Ronald Reagan uh, mask on him. Yes, it's 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 uh, a it's a joke. He's just goofing around. He's breaking balls. He's all right. You know what I'm like, Joe? I, I, all this shit, I can't Ah, uh, just, you got to have fun. No yeah, worries. That, 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 that douchebag. Do you remember that douchebag? He shit himself when I said I'm going over the Arnold. That's the he's one guy I say... Like, Yes, have have fun. Go to town against. I won't defend him. You know, <laughs> but everybody else that watches the show, they're just having fun. Ball ball breakers. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. all right. All right, Shuey, be cool, man. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Stevie the shooter, the shoe 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 smith, native strength and iron. Crystal, he's going to be near us. And I saw the Kim Haynes, the Kid Haynes. Thank you very much for sending me your 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 information for the plane, Kim. <laughs> yum, yum, fucking yum. Oh, God, I can just picture Crystal in an outhouse. That must have sucked. I remember you telling me that a while ago. But, um, yeah, that... Uh, 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 that 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 must have really sucked. I didn't have to go into the bathroom and outhouse. I used to have to use my alleyway a lot because we had too many people in one fucking small apartment. So if somebody was in the shower, I had to run the downstairs in the alleyway between the two houses and piss on my neighbor's wall. Yes, thank you very much, Miss Haynes. You are you are a doll, and I cannot wait to finally meet you in person in sunny LA. I didn't know better as a little kid. Yeah. Thanks for the plug. What are you kidding me? Anybody can plug anything they want on this show, even if it is my direct competitor. Only because if you're part of the family and you're doing stuff and watching this show, let's have a great time. How you doing, Travis? What's up, buddy? Oh, Adam, so you're going to be with the shoe, to the shoe, to the shoe, 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 Smith at LA? We shall have a libation together in the evening. MSM will have Iron Maidens. Maybe Shuey can have some sexy squaws. Ooh. I only, I never fucked a full squaw, only a partial squaw. <laughs> can you talk to that dude? Oh, Gorilla Juice, you're so mean. This is a nice show. We have manners at the family table here. <laughs> All right, good, Adam. Let's, uh, let, let's become butt buddies. How big is your penis? <laughs> I have big hands. Can I masturbate you? How do you know? What do you know about them Raptors now? I, you know what? They're playing good ball. Um, uh, Kawhi Leonard is a great fucking player. Uh, looks like the deal worked out good for them. Plugging folks are great. John Starner says. Mm. Rasta and Travis are all laughing, and there's Adam. Ooh, look! I, I got three guys laughing their asses off. If I can get a chick to laugh her pants off, I'd be doing better. Your big hands will cover it. Okay. Oh, humble little savage. Can I put my hands on your cheeks? Stana, you fucking beast, you. 
Stan is pulling fucking 600, 700 pounds. I'm over there curling 15s, you cocksucker. <laughs> Bust balls on this show. Wouldn't have it any. Kenny, of course. Kenny was busting fucking Shuey's balls. Kenny was throwing some darts at his head. <laughs> Greetings from Holland. Hey, Mike, what's up, pal? I don't know if you've ever had a Holland, a Dutch on this program. I love it. I love seeing fucking people from other places. Do you think those ultra-left snowflakes truly believe what they say, or they are just afraid to offend? I think they're just fucking jerk-offs. And anything that they say, they feel is okay, but if you say it, it's bad. Even if it's the same thing. I just feel left out. Of it. I'm not coming to L.A. I'm not filling in that sandwich. John, how much you pulling now? Fucking John is fucking, what did he have, fucking 715? What did you do before MSM? You were, Yes, I was a cop. I look like C. Cher. Fucking C. Cher. Cher, Sonny Bono. Most people would never say it to my face. I would because I'd be stroking your cock while I said it and you would fucking not fucking get mad. Wally, you can be the filling. Ooh. Talk to you. Oh, come on, gorilla. <laughs> I'm going for more this week. I got 635 for three. Got to go for 730. Jesus. I'd love Princess Barbie to be a guest on this show. Johnny, I'd love Princess Barbie to take a shit in my fucking mouth. <laughs> Does she have some fucking sexy fucking pictures on her account or what? Come on, Johnny. You, you know. I want to see 7.30, bro! I mean, it's good for business, especially in Hollywood. Do you agree with the snowflakes? I, you know, I don't know where Hollywood's getting that. Like, why this left? I know it's always been the arts, but it's too much. What's the most fucked up thing you've seen as a cop? Well, what's the fastest you clock someone? I never did radar. That's fucking cunt, fucking cuckolding move. Pink is purdy, yes. Fucking radar. I hated giving tickets. That's not being a cop. Being a cop is kicking a fucking door down and fucking locking a guy up that has a kilo of coke and a fucking nine millimeter in his house. That's fucking police work, bro. The most fucked up thing I ever seen, well, other than cops getting killed or hurt, you know, I mean, I guess just that, that would encompass that. Did I ever pistol whip someone? Um, I believe the statute of limitations have ended, so yes. <laughs> uh, yes, they, they are better than nutcrackers when used properly, but not the nine millimeters. The revolvers were great. As blunt instruments. Did you know cops taking favors, Joe? I was, I listen, I have never taken a dollar in my life and I've never witnessed someone take a dollar in their life. And I'm not saying like fucking, yeah, two dollars, you know, I'm not being a dick. I mean that straight, literally. Hollywood needs to entertain and not talk politics. I agree. Robert De Niro, my favorite actor. I, I fucking, I would love to kick him in the balls 10,000 times in a row. But I, if the Goodfellas is on, I'm not going to change it. Fuck off, Joe. <laughs> oh, gorilla. Just because you're a criminal. Joe lies. Ooh. Yes, I've seen many fucked up things. Um, I've had People die in my arms and I've had babies born into my mitts. These big mitts that I grabbed Stevie Shoots mitts big native cock with. Physique carry out. What's up there, toots? How are you, baby? Yes, babies born, people dying... Um, what else? Blood squirting. <laughs> Riots. <laughs> oh, I had a cousin who was a cop. He was killed. With, oh, he worked on cover narcotics. Yeah, I did that for a long time, bro. Long time I did that work. And that's where my friend got killed, doing a UC job in the Lower East Side. Do you think Canada should have the death penalty? What do you thought? I love capital punishment for certain things. Um, obviously, uh, shooting a cop shooting a judge, shooting a witness in a, uh, uh, like a homicide trial so you don't, you know, get found guilty, things like that. Not like, oh, you got caught with a fucking, you know, bag of coke on you, let's kill you. You just get your ass kicked in for that. Big native cock, he has bad circulation. Did you have to deal with a lot of whacked out naked guys? From time to time, yes. Uh, some fully naked, some partially naked. When you boom a door at fucking 4 a.m. in a search warrant and people are in bed sleeping, it's very interesting pulling them out of bed. It's not a deterrent, though. Unfortunately, it's not, but I think it's 
well, you know, I'd like to see people die that shot a cop. So to me, that's, even if it's not a deterrent, it's, they get what they deserve. You ever have any co-workers get pricked by needles? I've been pricked by a needle. That seems fucked up that these junkies throw needles. I got pricked by a needle in the guy's pocket when I was searching him. I also got bit by an HIV positive junkie. I keep hearing these stories where cops are confronting nude guys on drugs. Um, yeah, well, you know what? A lot of times people walk out of an apartment when they're fucking, you know, all fucked up. I think Joe made coffee and polished badges the faggot. I made the shittiest coffee when I was in Detective Squad. I was like Jack Sue's character, Yimana, 12th Precinct, in Barney Miller. Um, my coffee sucked, so my, my, my partner used to say, give me the fucking thing. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's crazy. He or she bit you. It was a he. It's, it's a deterrent for the dick who shot it. You would think it would be more of a deterrent. A deterrent. Joe's prick is famous. Yes. No fucking way. So you go straight to the hospital and they treat you. Um, yes. Yes. Uh, you go to the hospital. They try to fucking clean it out. Um, you know, what do they really, you know, I went for AIDS testing for a year. I've been stabbed at. I almost got gutted by a fucking uh, Puerto Rican guy on fucking Delancey Street in the middle of the street. The NYPD motorcycle police ride Harley Davidson. You see, street cops, we laugh at those fucking highway cops. The chips guys, we're like, come on, stop. Stop! They do look cool. I ain't gonna lie. But street cops are always like, especially plain clothes guys that did like fucking, you know, Drug boys and shit. We look at those guys like they're fucking meter mates. I mean, after you kill the dude, he ain't going to do it again. Oh, there you go, Alec. That's true. That that actual man who gets fried by old Sparky, which was the name of the electric chair in New York State uh, before it was banned by the liberals, um, he will not kill anyone again. Where did you mostly work out of New York? Brooklyn, Manhattan... And Queens, a little bit in the Bronx. Uh. But I started as a 20-year-old rookie in Bedford-Stuyvesant, Brooklyn. All black. Now I know, Joe, is that Jason, you know? <laughs> New Jersey. I've never worked in New Jersey as a police. But I've been there and drinking, watching games. <laughs> and covering games when I covered the Jets. I have a police special Harley from 1980. Ooh, very nice. Do you, do you polish it? <laughs> Someone took a hammer out last Friday. It didn't go well for him. And did he get shot? I, and people say the cops don't carry guns. and they go, only, There's only a certain division, right, that have just the nightsticks, the bobbies. There's, there's armed police in, in England. Sounds crazy over there. There's police work. And Holland's only handing out tickets doing paperwork. There's got to be fucking bad guys, though, in Holland. Don't you got all of those fucking animals from fucking Syria coming in? Burp. Ever burst biker clubs. No, but a hell's angel was going to kick my dick down my throat when I was an undercover one time. Um, yeah, man. I, I was not fucking feeling good. I wanted to get the fuck out of there, but I had to keep my eye on uh, one of the other undercovers buying fucking drugs and a fucking... Buying marijuana, yes! Marijuana! In a uh, Rastafarian record shop in the Lower East Side. Um... Pretty much around the corner from where they film NYPD Blue, which they were filming at the same time that I worked down there. I heard that Joe has a tattoo on his pecker. It says MSM when he is small, and it says MSM when he is hard. Johnny, you'll never know because I put a rubber on when I fucked you and it was black. <laughs> what made you change to muscle sport, bro? I retired. And then I did a... Um, I did uh, security and all of that good stuff, and then I did sports riding, and then I started covering this fucking gay fucking sport. What's the point of all the weird execution ways like the electric chair? Well, that's what they had back then. Chuck Zito. I've seen Chuck Zito many times interviewing and stuff. I like him. He's a cool dude. Good, You know, he's fucking cool. He does a lot of cool acting and shit, too. Um, but, you know, they back then, they had the hanging, the electric chair, and the firing. They still use the firing squad military. But uh, now they do the uh, injection. The lethal injection is supposed to be the most painless way to kill that fucking serial killer. the fuck out of here. Bring back the electric chair. They could just use a bullet. I agree with you on that. But I think the electric chair is better because their eyes come... That's why they put a hood on the guy. Because the eyes come bulging out of the head. 
Syrians, but it's quiet down here. Only Moroccan mafia killing each other every day. Let the fucking animals kill each other. Brandon's original. What's up, bro? Greg Morton. Welcome to the program. Roaming! Georgia. What's up, Georgia? Is that bitch still contesting that fucking race down there? She lost. Fucking Oprah was over there. Hey, if you vote for her, you get a car. Fucking assholes. Joe to Jason Blah, please. Next, you'd be telling us, I was the commissioner of the fucking police department. Adam has to meet you. Is that spelled with an E-E-T or E-A-T, Stevie? <laughs> Would you fuck Cagney or Lacey from the old 90s? Which one was the blonde? I would have fucked her then, but I saw what she looked like years later, and holy shit, she looked worse than the brunette looked there. The brunette had that cuck husband that used to stay home. When you get your police pension, Joe, the last day of every month, I get a beautiful fucking direct deposit in my savings account. How many years you need to put a full sentence? 20. Yes, they change it to 25. I believe on my old job for some newer guys, they did change it to 23 or something. But I was tier two, so I was I got hired in the 80s. I doubt that a bullet less painful, but you don't die in some injection. See, sometimes with the injections, they say the guy suffers, and I'm glad when that happens. Meet you. There you go, Stevie. How about the detect lady in silk? So I don't know that one, but I take your word for it. You're a ju good judge of character and pussy. <laughs> a, a chick would have to probably look like a fucking, like fucking King Tut after they opened the fucking grave for me not to try to, you know, not to say I would at least let her suck me off. All films. Oh, God, you guys are great. How do you find time to come on here? If I had all of that shit at my disposal, I would be jerking off 75 times a day. Go to awfilms.com, A-W-E, and amazing female bodybuilding porn. So, Crystal, she loves it. Look, or you got to fucking, you got to come on board with me. I'm telling you, bro, I'm the only guy, Crystal, tell them, I'm the only guy that fucking promotes adult female bodybuilding content. Somebody else, the wings of strength is nice. They show the girls putting the biceps on stage. I want to do, I want bicep job videos. I jerked off to a really good Brandy Mae bicep job video, and I have an armpit fetish, so it was kind of like the little bit of best of both worlds. It was like the female bodybuilding fetish, and, you know, the, the fucking promised land was right there. It is awe, yes. Appreciate it. Dude, Give me a fucking banner and, and, and access to a few films. <laughs> a couple of hundred dollars. You'll be good for a year. Did you hear Jay Masters is shunning Big Rob? Why? Big Rob was slurping Jay Masters when he was on this show a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, man. I, I'm the only media outlet that appreciates... Uh, adult content with female bodybuilders. Everybody else, they pretend it doesn't exist. The only one that loves and promotes the big girls. There you go. That's why a crystal is Ms. MSM. And her show is today. If you want to see her, not my beautiful face, her gorgeous face and ample breasts, I believe she said 5 p.m. She's doing her show today at her Instagram live, crystal.yfi.anthony. He said he is taking sides with the Del Rey bros. Well, he is part of the Del Rey bros, so he should take sides with them. But what is their problem with Big Rob? I know they think he's a fucking maniac, but, I mean, a lot of people do. <laughs> you look amazing, Crystal. Look at him. He's, he's, he's courting her. Instead of you fucking her, she should be fucking you. <laughs> I need to shoot with all films. Can I be on set? <laughs> oh, my God. I could never do that for a living. I would be fucking dying. My hard on would get in the fucking... Like, you would see, here's the fucking camera, and all of a sudden you'd see this. <laughs> oh, right at the climax. Yup, oh, fuck, cut! What the fuck? <laughs> Feel like putting up strong arm on you, your Joe. Feel like putting up strong arm on your Joe. I'm not sure. We can definitely... Oi, are you kidding me? Hit you up. Fuck yeah, dude. Crystal and I do a video together. 
See, I want to see Crystal do a video with Kim Haynes. <laughs> Doing 69, licking through the MSM panties. Joe wants to supervise. Yes! I want to be the director. <laughs> uh, Shuey, I would love to do a video with you. I'd do it. Look at Haynes. Look at... Oh, I... I Crystal? <laughs> oh, my God. I, I would fucking... That would be like the most... Permanent. I would never have to go to fucking pornmd.com and and waste my time searching for the fucking money shot movie or films. I will DM you. No, me first. No, no. I want to get you guys on camera. <laughs> What's the weirdest, most inappropriate place you ever took a shit? Um, in an alleyway. I had a fight when I was like 15, 16. And I had to take a real bad shit, and I was trying to get home. And then I had a fight with this kid, Larry, that lived around the corner from me. And while I was fighting, it's hard to hold in a shit while you're having a street fight. You know, you're punching each other. Um, I'm on it, or on whoever. Oh, back brace playing deadlifting belt. A road cone. Kephas! Oh, holy shit. So while I was fighting, I literally shit my pants. It wasn't because I was scared. I think it was more of like... You know, we hit each other a few times and then, you know, like rolled around and then our respective guys with us broke it up. So now I'm like, fuck, man, I got like a shit hanging out of my ass. So I went into this alleyway that was near our neighborhoods and it was like in between these apartment buildings and they had this fucking long fucking uh, thing where, where they put the garbage pails in Brooklyn. So basically I went to somebody's clothesline and took a t-shirt. <laughs> I took my pants off, I threw my underwears in the garbage, and I wiped my ass with this poor bastard's t-shirt, threw that in there, and put, you know, now I'm cleaned up, and I went home, and then I had to put fucking new, uh, you know, underwear on. Uh, Valentino's legs when he was sh with the fucking, uh, and you roll around. Oh, it's a, now Kephas has, there you go, go to Kephas MSM, he's got his own Instagram account, the infamous Kephas who I do my sports programming with. He was just here at these fine studios. <laughs> and um, we filmed some sports shows and stuff like that. I got 20 bucks, Crystal. Will that work? I'll put another 20 up. Me and Polk, 20 each. Crystal meets Kim Haynes in a fucking singles bar. And they go into a big old, like, 75 fucking El Dorado and fucking make love in the bench seat. <laughs> The anchor bar, yes. I have a story too. I used to be addicted to Coke Zero. I drank 10 cans a day. One day I shat myself and that was my wake up call to stop. Now why did that make you shit, Hugo the Claws? I'll flash you my boobs for $20. Ooh. Keith is follow me and I will follow back. Kim Haynes, you like that? A nice old Cadillac, like a pink Cadillac. Kind of like the, the fucking Mike Francesa pink Cadillac with the, the Yankees in the 90s. <laughs> oh, fucking Haynes. You're fucking... Haynes and Crystal. The coolest chicks in the fucking family. Oh, I will take it, Crystal. <laughs> Too much shit and all of that coke. You name it. It's just generally unhealthy. Yeah, I don't drink soda, man. Even like dietish soda. I don't... Very rarely I drink it. I'll pay for the Crystal Kim video too. Dude, I would definitely pay. i go up to about fucking 400, 500 bucks. Didn't do nothing. Yo, how's the crack, man? You got that red cap jumbo going on, bro? <laughs> Stay away from them white police. This is the best program ever on Instagram program ever. Nucky Thompson, thank you so much. Or films, I'll follow back. Stevie, you have definitely seen Or Films' uh, uh, promos and stuff like that. They do some great POV angles where you just see the fucking muscles, the muscles on these women and fucking the feet with the nice fucking uh, the big shoes on, the you know the high heels and things. How does one make good money from the adult industry nowadays as an amateur? I, you know what? You see a lot of these fucking broads, like these webcam broads. They're on all of these fucking. Like, you go live on Pornhub, and then you go live on all these, like, Keys and all of those ones, and and they would, they're would they all on all of those sites. So, the legs, the calves, the whole, I got the legs, I got the calves, the whole nine yards. 
$400, I have to be there live to watch it. Yeah, but if you have a video of it, Alec, you can jerk off any t at your leisure. It's like pay-per-view. <laughs> you can rebuild starter motors, too. Yes, a starter motor for that fucking uh, Hitachi Magic Wand. No money in porn. How about gay porn? I mean recording videos. Not Oh, you want to record the video live, and then you can keep it to use it to fucking pleasure yourself with. That would be good, because then you could actually, you know, you could shoot the, the, the parts you like the best. Like, I love lesbian porn when I make out. I, it's just, uh, you know, but I, I also, like, I like when they do Asshole 69 as well. But when they make out, it's just, it's like, it's kind of, it's, I'd like to meet. It's kind of like, like dirty, like, it's almost like, you know, like, it's like they're, they love each other. <laughs> I'm getting hard thinking about Crystal and Kim making out and eating each other's fucking buttholes. Since porn is free these days, you really can't make money acting. But you see, the fucking webcam stuff you could do, and because you can do like weird shit with those private rooms. Gay for pay is how I buy my crack, baby. Yeah, see, didn't do nothing you, for crack. You got to do what you got to do. Hey, Natty Comics, what's going on, brother? You know, when you got to feed that fucking, what are you up to, like fucking, uh, you're up to at least 10 fucking dimes a day now, what you have, minimum of 10 a day. So you got to fucking feed that habit. We got about fucking three, three minutes or so to go, probably four. I think I started at 3.01 my time. But yes, um, we, uh, we, uh, we, we definitely should do some promos uh, when Crystal and Kim are together. Um, my room. <laughs> the gay for pay scene is a little dead nowadays. Times are tough, Joe. Yeah, because everybody, does, it's like, you know, who's who's a tranny? Everybody's all mixed up. 8 a.m. here in Koala Land. OnlyFans.com. I saw that OnlyFans.com. Who had that? Uh, Buff Brianna Bourne had that. And Angela Salvagno. Angela's one of my favorite female bodybuilders to jerk off to. I had an idea to make money, put cameras everywhere in your house, and run a 24-7 live feed. People subscribe to that. People are voyeurs. Yes, money is in webcam and prostitution. OnlyFans is not a good deal. Sunny, poor California. We got Gavin Newsom as our new governor. All of that shit is fucking... California is just a fucking liberal town, no matter who you got. Kim Haynes, you did that, and they ripped you off. That's not good then. So Kim Haynes, not a fan of only, uh, what is it? Onlyfans.com, is that it? But I did see um, uh, uh, a couple of female bodybuilders on that. Newsome, twosome. But yes, uh, lesbian body, female bodybuilding porn is very, very, very uh, uh, hot. I think most most of us on this feed would tend to agree with that. Um you know, a lot of people think like female bodybuilders are like, oh, two of them. Stop being a fag. <laughs> I did a, a nose nose. It was on. It came out on Tuesday. The MST uh, TV, and it was like guys will fuck trannies, but they see female bodybuilders look like guys. I'm like, I don't get it. Have you heard the fetish of where dudes jerk off to the sound of people blowing their nose? No, but that sounds like something the nose nose should look into. <laughs> what about Streammate, Kim? And he, I never heard of that one. Alex into some fucking weird shit, man. And he, I'm jealous of him because his wife is fucking cool. <laughs> Jericho, I know Brazilian fart porn. That, that, I believe, is very phony, though. If you look that up, it sounds fake. We're getting the countdown. So before I get cut off, I'd like to thank you for joining us today on... LegalSteroids.com. They have a money back guarantee, guys. Money back guarantee, and you use the code NOV30 to save 30%. You can't go wrong if they're going to give you your fucking money back, bro. Who offers that? I don't even offer that. <laughs> so, guys, we will see you guys hopefully on Crystals at 5 o'clock. Crystal.wildfire.anthony. And tomorrow, back here tomorrow, Anabolic presents Ask Me Anything MSM style. And we shall talk about anything that you guys want. Stevie, thank you for joining us on the live feed. Haynes, Crystal, action! <laughs>